This is your Disneyland storyteller, and I'm going to tell you a story about Mickey and the Beanstalk. That's right, Mickey and the Beanstalk. Our story happened in a place called Happy Valley. It was a wonderful place to live, truly one of nature's garden spots. A beautiful valley nestled among the green rolling hills, with bubbling brooks flowing through the pastures, winding roads sheltered by beautiful tall trees, lush fields and prosperous farms dotted the landscape, and lovely flowers of every description were spread like a delicate carpet across the valley floor. This was truly a place of eternal spring. And high on top of the hill, overlooking the valley, was a castle that looked like the most priceless jewel on a king's crown. And there was something very precious within the castle walls, something which the people looked forward to hearing every day. My, what a happy day. Let the bells ring out, let your heart sing out, what a scrumptious day. What a very special day, hear the music play. Songs are in the air, love is everywhere, when you feel this way. You've got an invitation to join the celebration, the biggest in creation. Can't you see the world's my oyster? Why do I feel this way? Cause a boy I know in a moonlight glow gave the big okay. Said to name the day. What a great big, gorgeous, sumptuous, thumping, bumptious, ungalumptious, wondrous, scrumptious. My, what a happy day. That was the singing harp. The voice of this lovely golden harp cast a spell of joy and prosperity over the entire valley. Why, the spell was so powerful that the crows in the valley would sing along happily with a scarecrow. So you can understand why it was such a wonderful treasure. But it was too good to last. And one day, a mysterious shadow crept over the valley. Lightning began to strike, and something dreadful happened. <laughs> When the shadow had lifted, the golden harp was gone. The valley was no longer a happy place, and soon the river stopped flowing and all the flowers began wilting and died. Without the magic of the golden harp, all was misery. All the families in the land were gripped with the pangs of starvation. They couldn't even get milk from their cows. Mickey, Goofy, and Donald belonged to such a family. And one day, Mickey served their one last bean for dinner. And as he started to cut the bean into three equal parts, Donald stared at it in the strangest way. I can't stand it! I can't stand it! Donald! Donald! Take it easy! You can't make sandwiches out of plates! Now take it easy, boy! Easy! Easy, old boy! Whoa, no, no! Poor Donald. The pangs of starvation were becoming too much for him to bear. Who knows what diabolical plot will form in the brain of this demented duck. I sure hope he's okay now, Goofy. Where'd he go? No, Donald, no! Put down that axe! That's Rossi, Rossi. That's who tells you where. No, no! No, Donald, no, 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 Donald. The fellas, I just let him eat. I'm so hungry. Poor Donald. He was so hungry that he was completely out of his head. It had been over two weeks since they had had a decent meal, so it was easy to understand why he behaved that way. Mickey wasn't about to let Donald kill the cow, but he did agree to go to town and try and sell her. The thought of food brought new hope to Goofy and Donald. In fact, the more they thought about it, the more excited they became. Turkey, lobster, sweet potato pie... Pancakes piled up till they reach the sky. Oh, I want to 
and eat and eat and eat and eat until I die. Turkey, lobster, sweet potato pie, pancakes piled up till they reach the sky, lots of starches, lots of greens, fancy chocolate covered beans. What do you mean, beans? Yeah, fellas, I sold the cow for some magic beans. Beans. But Donald, these aren't ordinary beans. These are magic beans. If you plant these in the light of the full moon, do you know what'll happen? Yeah, not beans! Don't, 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 no! But it was too late. Donald took the magic beans, threw them, and they went rolling through a crack in the floor. So once more, the three friends went to sleep at night with very empty stomachs. Well, it seems those beans were magic after all. Because soon the moon was high in the sky and casting its silver rays of light on the small house. All of a sudden, little vines began creeping through the cracks in the floor. They began getting larger and larger and were lifting the little house off of the ground. All through the night, it grew onward and upward, carrying the house with Mickey, Donald, and Goofy in it higher in the sky. And so, with the coming of dawn, they had reached a land far up above the clouds. Naturally, the three friends were quite surprised when they woke up in the morning and saw nothing but clouds and a mysterious castle off in the distance. And as if by some invisible force, the three comrades started walking toward the castle. Suddenly, without warning, they were attacked by giant dragonflies. Stop! Stop! Look out! I've never seen such big ones. Look out! seemed to stop the three friends. They forgot their hunger and they forgot their fear for this was their biggest adventure. On they went toward the mysterious castle, right up to the castle door, which was so large that their knock could not be heard inside. Oh, never, never hear that knock. Let's go under the door. And crawl under they did, except for Goofy. Hey, fellas, wait for me. Oh, I can't get through. I'm stuck. Come on, Father. Let's help him. <laughs> oh, take it easy. <laughs> there. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. This place sure is big. Yeah. Maybe we should get out of here. <laughs> The three friends were standing in the middle of a tremendous hall which seemed completely deserted. Just as they were going to leave, Goopy made an exciting discovery. Oh, 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 food! Ah, food! Oh, boy! Get me out of boy, oh, boy! Who's there? What was that? Who's down there? Look! It's our magic harp! She's in that big box up there on the table! How did you get here? I was kidnapped by that wicked giant. Oh, a giant! A oh, giant? giant? Yes, a giant. It was this heartless monster that swooped down under cover of darkness and carried me off. I brought misery to Happy Valley. But why did he want to steal you, our magic harp? Because he's cruel and selfish. He didn't care what happened to the valley. He just wanted someone to sing him to sleep. He is a real ogre who has the power to turn himself into anything, man or beast. Wait, quiet. I hear someone coming. It's 
it's Willie the Giant. Run and hide quickly, because if he finds you... Run, fellas! Quick, 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 run! Yeah, hi! <laughs> Let's get out of here! Fee, fi, fo, thumb. Fee, fi, fo, thumb. Fee, fi, fo, thumb. Fee, hi, ho, hum. I'm the most amazing guy, a most amazing guy am I. Fee, fi, fo, thumb. Fee, hi, ho, hum. I'm the stuff I'm telling you, but here's what I can do. I can change myself into an elf, fly up high like the birdies. I can disappear into atmosphere, peek a -boo. Cause I know the magic wordies. Fee, fi, fo, foey. Fee, 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 fee. Fee, fee. I don't know no Fifi. After finishing the song about his magic words, the giant saw the delicious food on the table and started over to eat it. Little did he know that he had three uninvited guests hiding on his dinner table. But he soon found them and grabbed Mickey up in the palm of his hand. Uh, uh, I gotcha. Uh, I think I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. Willie! Uh, uh, what? You have a very interesting lifeline. Uh, oh, yeah? Mm, I don't believe it. Uh, uh, what's the matter? Is it bad? Why, it says here that you can change yourself into anything. Uh, uh, sure, you want to see me? I can change myself into the darndest things. Uh, 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 go on, give me something. Anything? Uh, uh, anything. Well, can you change into a housefly? Uh, uh, a cute, teeny, weeny, itsy, pitsy housefly? Uh, that's right, a housefly. Oh, uh, you don't want a housefly. How about a nice bunny with long pink ears, huh? Well, if you can't be a fly... Uh, the, okay, a fly, but with pink wings. Fee, fi, fo, uh, the, are you sure you wouldn't want a bunny rabbit? Hey, what are you doing? The giant caught the friends just as they were running for the fly swatter. <laughs> so you thought you could trick Willie? I'll show you. The wicked giant grabbed up all three and locked them in the box Jeremy with the magic B. Hood. But Mickey managed to slip over the side and get away without the giant seeing him. They decided that the best way to escape would be to have the harp try and sing the giant to sleep. And then Mickey could get the key and unlock the box. In her song, the harp tells Mickey where the key is. In my favorite dream, everyone is so delightful. mean or spiteful in my favorite dream yes and in my favorite dream there my heart can go into the sleeping giant's pocket. Through the keyhole in the box, Donald, Goofy, and the harp watched him with held breath. Oh, the giant's waking up. Oh, he just moved a little and is once more fast asleep. And Mickey's got the key. 
Now he's starting to climb up the giant's chest toward the box and his captive friends. Oh, no! The giant's going to sneeze. Cousin Tight. The sneeze made Mickey drop the key, but he got it just in time with his foot and once again quietly started to sneak up toward the box. Finally, his friends are free again, but Mickey wants to make doubly sure. While his friends get a head start, he decides to tie the giant's shoelaces together. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. He woke the giant up. Uh, uh, come back here. How did you get out, huh? Well, you won't get away from Willie. I'll get you. Come back here, you, you, you mouse. Donald and Goofy are way ahead of the giant with the magic harp, but things aren't looking too well for Mickey. The giant is chasing him down the road with a huge club. Finally, Mickey managed to get to the beanstalk, but the giant is still close behind him and soon on the beanstalk. Uh, 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 come back here. I'll get you. Uh, uh, hurry, Mickey, hurry. Uh, we're sawing down the beanstalk. <laughs> I'm coming as fast as I can. Hurry, hurry. Here I am, fellas. <laughs> hurry, the giant isn't far behind. Oh, uh, uh, the beanstalk's beginning to fall. Uh, once again with song and laughter. For, with the return of the magic harp, peace and prosperity reign throughout the land, and the trees, brooks, and flowers once again showed their true beauty. You've got an invitation to join the celebration, the biggest in creation. Can't you see the world's my oyster? Why do I feel this way? Cause a boy I know in a moonlight glow gave the big okay, said to name the day. What a great big gorgeous, sumptuous, thumping, bumptious, hungalumptious, wondrous, scrumptious, my, what a happy day. 